cost of the war in Iraq has now surpassed one trillion dollars. That's more money than our country has spent on any war besides World War II. And that doesn't even include the Pentagon's annual operating budget, which will cost taxpayers an additional $480 billion this year. Our government is so serious about national defense that they're even protecting us from the alien menace. Welcome to Earth. $1.6 million in the 2008 defense spending bill is earmarked for SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Since the 1960s, SETI scientists have been listening for evidence of intelligent life elsewhere in the universe with the goal of answering the question, are we alone? I would rank it among the most important questions ever answered because the question is so old. So, are we alone? Well, there haven't been any confirmed detections made by uh, any of the SETI instruments to date. But if you just take it from a statistical vantage point, given the numbers of stars and the numbers of planets uh, that are certainly out there, I, I have no doubt that, uh, that we have company. SETI is doing some pretty fascinating work. But why are they receiving money from the Defense Department? Are aliens really a threat to our national security? The alien menace scenario is not something that I lose any sleep over at all. Detecting the signal in no way means that uh, the civilization that sent that has detected us. So I think we're pretty safe. Since 1993, SETI has been funded almost exclusively by private donations. A few years ago, Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen ponied up $25 million to get the Allen Telescope Array project off the ground. And lots of other individuals and corporations have followed suit. Also, a lot of these people have bought telescopes. Here, you can buy one for uh, $150,000. And uh, you don't get to keep the telescope, but you do get your name on it. So why is SETI receiving money that's supposed to be used for national defense? The $1.6 million that SETI received is called an earmark. Earmarks are one way that our elected officials funnel federal tax dollars back to people in their home districts. In this case, the sponsoring representative was Anna Eshoo, the Democratic representative from SETI's district. Republican Tom Coburn of Oklahoma is an outspoken critic of earmarks in the Senate. Earmarks are the gateway drug for overspending because earmarks are used to get people to vote for bills they would never otherwise vote for. Probably one of the worst things that, uh, that occurs with earmarks is it makes us pigs at a trough to see how much we can get for our state. The SETI subsidy costs each U.S. citizen less than a penny a year, and therein lies the problem. None of us has a very strong incentive to speak out against any particular earmark, but the recipients have a very strong incentive to make sure the subsidies keep coming. I think what it does is, is it creates an unfair and unbalanced representative government. Is if you've got money and you can influence things in Washington, you get benefit. If you don't have money and you can't influence, you're not necessarily benefited. The real losers, however, are our children and our grandchildren. No, no family member would spend their grandkids' life savings on a, a, a non-essential item uh, so they could look good, uh, yet we do it routinely. In fact, 520 of the 535 members of Congress received earmarks in 2008, including Robert Byrd. Well, there's no question Robert Byrd is the biggest earmarker of all time. Unlike Paul Allen, Robert Byrd didn't have to use his own money to get a telescope named after him in his home state of West Virginia. In 2008, Earmarks funded fruit fly research in France, a private aquarium in Chicago, and the Charles B. Wrangell Center for Public Service. They're not big dollars to us in Washington. They're very big dollars to individuals. And when you add up all these earmarks, the numbers get really scary. This year, 11,610 congressional earmarks cost taxpayers over $17 billion. Having the press highly involved and scrutinizing not only just a few of the earmarks, but the connections between earmarks and relationships, connections between earmarks and campaigns, I think is a highly critical need that we've not seen enough of. If you think SETI is a good idea, you can make a donation at SETI.org. If you think earmarks are a bad idea, you might want to call your own representative and ask some hard questions about earmarks. 
I think when the American people get it, they're, they're going to throw this process out. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie.